d takes e4 of course and knight f6 and of course i'm gonna go c5 so now like i mean everybody's playing their stuff okay d takes c5 i think that was a quick decision which we looked was bishop e3 knight e2 and starting with knight e2 was more impressive probably so i'm gonna take on d1 first because it will destruct this bishop on f3 was very strong and actually the idea of the opening was to keep the bishop on f3 so every day big chess somehow lost the control over the position i want to play knight c6 a very solid idea bishop to d7 and then long castle maybe just to keep the position you know in the spirit so i will just turn the music a little bit off and try to focus on the position so knight to e4 is playable apparently knight to d5 is playable i'm gonna play knight to d5 here and we will see what's gonna happen okay now this endgame position probably is harmless for black because white destroyed the pawn structure where white had the pawn majority so i'm gonna go f6 always having the opportunity of placing my king to f7 also taking some control of the squares in the center which gives me kind of nice play bishop takes e3 and then i want to go e5 and i like this position now because now like bishop e6, king e7, rook d8, rook c8 and I will be having a great day. <laughs> That's what I hope for. And also maybe long castle is impressive because you protect b7 at once. Because I would love to have my king on c7. Now I played two moves with my king at once. That's what I love about the castling. It's just making life easier for chess players. So bishop f3, bishop d5 could be played. Okay, rook b2 protecting a2. Now I would like to get some active play here. And maybe this king c7 move is playable, but rook d2 is also very impressive. So I'm trying to gain some space in the position and oh my god i was always forgetting the fact that the knight is threatening my rook so rook back to d6 this is french defense as we mentioned e4 e6 d4 d5 bishop d3 variation and this is the very first time we play this opening team special tournament where we are just practicing one of the positions we trained all together at least we have the perception of I mean, if we, even if we don't play this position, it's just, you know, a practical knowledge. Maybe in the future, one day, you will say like, oh, this opening, I checked this like many years ago, and now I'm supposed to play this. <laughs> that might happen, for sure. One day, it might happen to all of us to play an opening that we never thought that we could play like for me i played alikine defense which i thought i would never go for so it's one of my favorite openings nowadays so i think the time will change the decisions of a player or the mindset so that may happen okay e4 is something i would be happy to play just because to bring my rook to the second rank as I always mentioned in the end games, you want your rooks on the seventh or the second ranks because this is where the most of the pawns are located. So opponent's pawns are mostly located on the second rank. And for the tournament, once again, you guys are very welcome to join. This is a French team tournament. Just to fix the notation once again on our announcement, I need to make it E6. Yeah okay now it's fine and you can join tips for chess club and then you can join the tournament we have so many people available in the tournament okay attacking this rook 
doesn't really prevent me from you know playing rook to d2 at some point so i'm like really willing to go for it I think this tournament will be a very nice attempt for us because we combine all these knowledge in practice and maybe we can do is like maybe half day we can do some opening research and the rest of the day we can arrange a tournament so this might give us more you know enjoyment and motivation what do you guys think maybe what we can do is like we can do an opening preparation and after that we do play this team tournament where we play the opening okay so now knight to h4 i want to go rook d2 directly to make some nice games I favor black in this position objectively I think it sounds like a perfect idea because I I'm also inspired by this idea you know I feel like if I get such an opportunity every day you know like we all together can become a great chess school you know on Twitch like doesn't really matter where but it's just you know a great uh, community Basically, I mean, we have a great community and I, I want them to be the best. Especially for individuals learning like myself, I think I think we will become great this way because this is how we how we improve chess. I mean, as a chess, let's say feeder master, I will say like both as a feeder master and both as a feather master. So I would be agreeing on this because the way you learn playing chess is the way you look different new stuff all the time i'm not telling repeating ticks that's important so i'm trying to point out the modern ideas here i'm not really looking for 100 years ago's games like max earth's games or mihail tal's games or alekhine's games because these are like games played in the past which were like the most respect i mean we had the most respect for these guys but one thing not to forget about is that the game of chess has changed tremendously after you know the discovery of the computer chess so the computers have explored a lot of stuff that the world champions in the past didn't really understand completely so now we should improve our understanding and perception of the game of chess and we need to implement the new mindset and to become you know unique and creative and to apply new approaches we need to really follow up the modern approach implemented by today's grandmasters because today's grandmasters are most likely powerful than world champions in the past we had one thing i'm not telling this because of the calculation skills it could be that the world champions in the past had amazing calculation strength that's possible but one thing i'm trying to indicate is that the chess knowledge the structures the openings the middle game patterns weren't existing so those guys had to discover everything themselves which is like you know trying to find you know an item in the ocean so instead we this by the way congratulations everyday bit chess maybe we get to analyze the games of the champion so maybe we analyze the games of the champion i'm starting to go from casual play to more competitive i'm looking for recommendations on how to get better other than just playing a tactic puzzle which i'm doing tactic move would be low recommendations in france actually what i could recommend is now like maybe it's a good idea to follow this channel now on because i'm ordering some chess books for instance myself also looking forward to play okay e6 by junior atasagun is expected d4 and d5 and then bishop d3 will be played so we play this french team for today's opening and now it black is free to play any any move he wants 
you're not supposed to take you can play this you can play this <laughs> oh sorry sorry guys i couldn't turn the microphone off this time okay knight to c6 is played and what i like most is of course c3 will be played now i have a very solid structure with a very sound position but it doesn't mean that white is better it's just a position to play umbrella folks what i can say is like but definitely follow this channel we have some master class we have some videos i do once in a month for subscribers something special nowadays i was delayed because of the new year so many things happened but i will be doing some master class for our subscribers i do some special serious sessions so it's only sub streams which i do rarely but i do it so I think the guys who were subscribed in the past definitely knows a lot of stuff about it. I don't know if anybody has any experience of it. I accidentally said bless you to my mom. <laughs> that, that made my day. Allow. This is how you become a moderator borer, right? You are so much focused to your, you know, task. You're such a such a man of mission. You you know that you you need to take care of the streamer guy and you see your mom. God bless. That's great, man. That that's great. I like your attitude. That's how you become a moderator. First step. Great man. Okay. Thank you so much, Bora. I take it. Okay, now we have a position where I think um, I managed to get a very sound position. I would love to play this f4, knight f3 setup. Do I really need that? That's the question. Maybe I do need it. I mean, not to allow this e5, you know. Sometimes you just want to enjoy this position with a, like a Maroxy type of position where, you know, Sicilian players trying to push d6, d5. It's one similar version of a Maroxy bind where you prevent your opponent from playing e6, e5 in this case. And this backward pawn on e6 might experience some difficulties in long term. Because I have some intentions there, apparently. But I'm gonna start with this knight to f3, opening up the bishop diagonal and the other knight will jump to e2 and maybe into e2 or i don't i'm not entirely sure yet maybe queen e2 most of the games when was analyzed in the past it was more from white side but after the computers this changed a lot like machines found more defending ideas for black side also even with possible things can also playable soon exactly exactly i agree with you erdogan this is like changing dramatically especially the moment when computers you know really really invaded the, the world of chess i think kibi boy welcome by the way guys if you want to join the tournament here we have it here's the tournament link i'm sorry for you know just filling the whole chat screen with the with the tournament announcement but this is what we are doing now so i'm gonna go bishop g6 against junior atasagon and wanna see the black king suffering in the center that's what i hope but of course not every wish is you know coming true so i really need to play carefully but in the meanwhile this is a free piece junior atasagun that's i think a blunder a piece blunder which will help me to become better by all means I'm just having a superior position oh my god that was a quick game though that was a quick game okay we play against each other once again impressive that 
our club tournament becomes one to one challenge e4 e6 d4 d5 and bishop to d3 and we will see what's gonna happen here after d takes e4 bishop takes e4 now i mean black is free to play anything but i think this is the most common approach for black like knight f6 bishop f3 and then we get this position a very standard position to play okay we have 10 players in the tournament and we still have 73 minutes to go okay without playing c5 knight to c6 i would say i shouldn't be worse simply knight e2 and my expansion in the center with c4 and knight bc3 should give me some decent advantage and i might go for c4 but let's castle short first and then c4 knight bc3 should be just you know a very sound position to play i shouldn't expect more than this okay knight to b4 one thing i'm curious after a3 where this knight is going to go because after c4 now the knight is kind of maneuvering everywhere but also this b7 is hanging now so there are multiple issues with the problem of you see bishop to d7 is always causing some challenge for black hard to hard to recover from these kind of positions but it's very instructive i hope you guys are enjoying this tournament because i started to enjoy a lot because you learn a lot by practicing so we together by practicing really learn a lot from these positions i think this is a great way of training chess and for those who were asking us especially including our dear friend umbrella fox was asking how to improve with chess i think if you participate our channel these tournaments you might definitely improve significantly you see these opening lines now we know what to play and what not to play and what mistakes we make especially after you know just having a look at the positions so this is a great opportunity for every chess player with different levels to experience you know what could be a great opportunity and how to play the positions and so on okay queen to a5 now i'm just thinking that the dark square control is extremely important maybe whereas b4 i could have gone but rook takes b4 bishop d2 rook somewhere knight to b5 to d6 maybe that's something because one thing i calculated if every day b just takes on b4 because the rook on a1 is hanging so i plan bishop to d2 Wow, a resignation comes, an early resignation. So now I'm sharing the lead with Notacion and we are waiting for a new challenger in the meanwhile. I think the tournament is a great tournament. We have 10 people and 70 minutes to go. And we have so many people weaving our channel, 82 people do you guys want to practice the french defense with e4 e6 d4 d5 bishop d3 variation this is a great opportunity for you guys to join